So guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to discuss about a topic that uh, I see being discussed a lot here on the internet and YouTube uh, world. Uh, it's basically what type of programming language should you learn in 2020. So the answer to the question is uh, I have no idea, like, you need to find out uh, first thing what is your problem, then uh, you can discuss about solutions. And that's what I generally see, that people don't know what they want. That's why, I mean, uh, probably Mental Outlaw made a video about this, uh, basically was selling uh, PCs and uh, people just don't know why they want to use it. So they have a device and they have no idea about what will be their application. The same thing applies for programming language uh, or languages uh, that somebody should learn. I can give you a broad overview about uh, uh, programming language, but the first thing that you need to understand and realize is what is your problem, because the job of software engineers or people that develop software uh, is to solve problems. So a language is a tool to achieve something, not uh, the solution. So you should start first from the problem and then uh, find the solution. So in terms of uh, programming and generally, like if you are very basic uh, on uh, programming, then uh, I think that the best thing is to uh, learn uh, either C or Python, uh, but uh, all other languages uh, are fine. Uh, I say C because, I mean, the syntax uh, that uh, C has, uh, kind of a lot of other languages derived from C and C syntax, so you will recognize a lot of uh, other programming language. It can be Java, but I would assume that the easiest way from the beginning is not to use object-oriented programming, but just uh, pure imperative uh, languages. And that's the first way, I mean, uh, humans did in um, uh, when uh, uh, programming. So the first program were written in assembler and it's uh, an imperative language. So you tell basically the machine what to do and the machine does it at exactly uh, the instruction that you tell it to do. So imperative languages definitely should be the first uh, option, not object-oriented uh, or stuff like that. Uh, people use object-oriented programming for too many things nowadays. Object-oriented programming, uh, don't get me wrong, is, uh, uh, is a tool as well everything, but uh, they should be used, I think, more for modeling. Because for me, data is data and data cannot do stuff. Uh, data is sacred. So whenever you are modeling something, like say an object, and uh, then you put a method, I don't know, the object is dog and the method is bark. Uh, when, uh, when you do that, you are kind of, uh, I don't know, like ruining the data or mixing them up. So I think uh, functional programming, it's very nice. Uh, on uh, that matter because you don't modify the input data uh, and uh, the problem with that is that programming languages uh, since you cannot modify the input data then you need to copy and uh, you cannot do it over and over again so the language should be smart enough to uh, log all the modification that has to do with the data and then do it uh, afterwards so it's kind of lazy uh, the programming language itself Whereas languages like C, for instance, that is purely imperative, uh, those uh, just do the things that you tell them to do. Uh, another cool thing about C is that you learn about uh, uh, how your machine works. And uh, as a simple uh, program, I would suggest you to, do, to learn about variables uh, first, uh, second, uh, so data types, uh, then uh, write functions to do basic stuff, basic operation. Uh, learn about uh, recursion, that's very important. Uh, opening, uh, closing the file. So as a first exercise, I think uh, write a file, a general file, uh, store that file into a data structure, 
uh, into the program and then uh, manipulate the data and then send another file with the same data structure. Uh, the file length is known so from the beginning of the program and that should give you a good start of what you can do with, uh, uh, with languages. Uh, so when to use uh, C. Nowadays in C is uh, not uh, that uh, that much in use. Uh, so for operating systems or writing compilers or embedded uh, systems, uh, C is uh, is still in use. So it's not that true that uh, C as language is dead. Uh, if I don't know, you need to write uh, a very simple. Uh, program probably C is uh, uh, the option that I would go for. Uh, for I don't know if I need to solve a complex program and uh, I don't want to think much about the problem and I know that other people might work um, out on the same thing then I would generally use a language like Ruby or Python. Uh, I generally go for Python because I'm more comfortable with uh, for uh, another good uh, uh, thing that noobs can do uh, for learning programming is to approach programming with uh, Octave because everybody knows about math and uh, math questions so uh, Octave is actually a bit uh, uh, I mean the the way the language is designed let's say that the index are from one and not from zero it's a bit unconventional as programming language but i think as a first approach that uh, that might work so octave and then try to replicate some math function plotting uh, writing uh, i don't know uh, structures and loading them that should give probably the easiest and less painful uh, introduction to the world of uh, programming uh, so another thing that uh, is worth mentioning is uh, that uh, mostly uh, what you want is to be in uh, open software uh, open source environment if you want to learn how to code because uh, the environment itself you can learn a lot from everything that surrounds uh, programming. I don't know, scripting and uh, uh, compilation scripts, uh, terminal and something like that. So interacting with the shell languages kind of helps you out in entering, entering the mindset of what uh, is uh, programming. So I would suggest everybody to, you know, uh, take a, a very old bad laptop or buy second hand and uh, do some programming in it. You don't need uh, powerful machines to do programming. Of course, it depends on what you have to do, but if you want just to learn, uh, all machines are perfectly fine. I mean, people code since the 90s, 70s, 60s. So a PC of 2002 is perfectly fine of handling basic C code and uh, stuff like that. So that's uh, my take on how to approach programming, but as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you need to know what you want. Uh, it's, uh, it's very hard to uh, suggest people what they should use in 2020, what are the you know, cool environment and stuff, because uh, in the end it's up to you and uh, languages are tools to solve problems and this job of a software engineer or I don't know, uh, an engineer in general is to solve problems and you should start focusing on the problem first and the solution later so if you have questions uh, please uh, you are free to contact me uh, at uh, libre at you libre you at gmail.com uh, uh, or uh, write comments down below uh, I would love to see interactions from you guys, like, subscribe, all the good stuff and uh, see you in the next one.